to rebuild I-95. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro said today that crews will work right around the clock to get traffic flowing again. That work will include filling that enormous gap caused by the collapse, paving the way for a temporary fix while a permanent structure is built around it. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News is the plan unveiled today in Tacone. Officials went into great detail about the work involved, but they stopped short of giving a specific timeline. Hey guys, come on. Get it tight. Looking good. Get it tight. Hey, you gotta walk. You gotta walk that way. You gotta walk that way. There you go. Yeah. Pull it tight. We have determined collectively that the most efficient five minutes later. But thanks to Secretary Carroll's leadership and around the clock work by Abenizio, I can now report that our demolition will be done on Thursday. That means that we will have completed the demo in four days, not the week or more as they initially expected. While the demo has been going on, our other teams of PennDOT engineers and others have been hard at work too. In, coordinator, in coordination with Administrator Bat at the Federal Highway Administration and his team, we have been developing the fastest way to get... You what? Well, we know you are eager to hear about this new plan to backfill the gap in the roadway. So we want to get straight to Jeff Cole. He's live at the command post with all the details from the governor. I don't think a lot of people saw this fix coming here, Jeff. No, I don't think a lot of people thought that the fix would be as quick as it appears it may happen. So listen, you folks remember, or certainly our viewers remember, that there was just stunned shock three days ago after the fiery collapse of this busy section of I-95. Today, there was a mood of near celebration as governorship... And that legends are a way of understanding things greater than ourselves. Forces that shape our lives events that defy explanation.